Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, this thing's on fire! Hey, how you doing? John Gett here from V Arena again. Over the last 24 hours or so, I've received a lot of emails, a lot of requests from gamers out there wanting to know how real-time strategy games go on the OQO. Now, earlier on in the week, we tested out World of Warcraft and showed that you can actually do things like check your auction house and, and check mail and do other little basic things within the game. But realistically, we're not going to be playing MMOs on the OQO at this time. What we will be doing, though, is playing the, some of the older games out there, like StarCraft, which is probably one of the most popular uh, real-time strategy games out there still today, mainly due to the fan base it has going in Korea and the competition circuits uh, around, uh, around Asia. So what I done, I went out there and I dug up my old copy of StarCraft out in the garage. Unfortunately, my CD was kind of scratched. It's pretty old out there. Um, I went, tried to install it, it wouldn't install, so I had to go down to EB Games and pick up the Battle Chest version of StarCraft, which includes the original game, the add-on, uh, and a whole heap of other stuff in there, a little little map and everything else. Um, really great pack, installed on the OQO, uh, and it runs beautifully. The interface and the actual unit itself is gorgeous. But, as you can see, there's no way known you can fit a CD in the OQO, so you have to use a docking station, and you don't want to be carrying around a docking station with you everywhere. So what I done was use a little tool called Demon Tools. I just flip over, open the keyboard here. Down in uh, down in the bottom of the toolbar, you'll see a little red icon called Demon Tools, a virtual demon manager. Um, it's uh, version 4.9. It allows me to create a virtual CD-ROM um, on the OQO. So the game, so the game actually thinks the CD is actually in there, even though there's no CD-ROM on on the unit at the moment. So uh, it's installed and everything works perfectly. So what I'll do now is actually start it up and show you exactly how it looks. Now, although StarCraft is quite a few years old, it's got a really big following, mainly because of its simplicity and and uh, and balance in within the, the character classes around out there. So we'll set up the expansion. Graphics actually look really nice on this side screen. Um, the, it's running at 640 by 480, and we're not, we haven't got widescreen, of course. The, the game's too old to support that, but it, it definitely does look very sweet. Interface as well is beautiful. Um, you can just see all the, all the different uh, races here. You've got your Terrans, your Protoss, and your Zerg. Uh, I will play a custom game just to give you an idea what the interface is like. Now, keeping in mind, I'm not really good at StarCraft anymore. I played it years and years and years ago, and I need a little bit more practice to uh, to get up there and and really give it a good go. But I did play a couple of levels earlier on, um, and it was quite fun. It's great. Uh, interface is really easy. Uh, you got your uh, your left and right mouse click buttons here on the side of the actual unit and your movement with your, your mouse basically just by scrolling to the uh, the edge of the screen allows me to to scroll around the actual whole map here now I didn't actually tell them click the wrong button there so I send them off to uh, to start harvesting I can go to my my main base here and create another unit here set the, the uh, rally point over there once I've got enough uh, harvested minerals I'll be able to build my next units uh, or next buildings to start harvesting other things but um Interface, combat, everything else is really easy to do on this unit. The graphics quality is as good, if not better, than most of the PSP games out there. But then again, the processing power on this unit is a lot higher than things like your, your Nintendo DS's and your PSP's. Um, now, by all means, this is not a gaming console. It's not designed to be a gaming console in any way, shape or form. It's actually a portable computer. It's designed to fit in your pocket and go anywhere and do your emails and everything else. The f fact that you can actually play these games, play StarCraft, play World of Warcraft and, and many other games out there including Need for Speed and Diablo and, and a few other games as well which I've tried so far, it's just awesome. It's basically in the eliminated need for when you're traveling or whatever else. So ca carry a third party console like a, a PSP or even a DVD player. This is going to be able to do all that type of stuff for you all on one unit. So that's StarCraft on the OQO Model 2. If you're a massive StarCraft fan and you can't go without it and you've got the, the money out there or the spare dollars, definitely go out and get yourself one. John, get out. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220.